again and welcome back to the studio. My name is Anda Lee and if you haven't run across my channel before, The Last Pigment is a one-stop shop for watercolor DIY and tutorial videos. We're doing a mystery art supply unboxing. This last year has been really hard on a lot of businesses, so I thought I would choose one business for this video to promote and it's going to be the local art supply warehouse that is located in Westminster and they have a lot of supplies, basically everything you could possibly think of. I've been going there for years. They're a really great shop. It was $20 and the value of it is supposedly $100. So let's get started and let's open this bag. It is a tote bag. That's cute, very nice. I could probably use this to put my gouache paints in it. Looks like there is a promotional flyer, a small pamphlet on using a particular brand of watercolors. So that's interesting. I might read that later. I might use this to put paints in. All right, next I the colored pencil. I love using these for line work. They're really great. Black Magic. Uh, ink, ink marker, soft pastels. These are really nice. I don't typically use soft pastels, but I would definitely be interested in trying them out. Hyacinth uh, notebooks. Those are awesome for making notes. A miniature gesso board. I love using these for oil painting. They're a great surface. Mirrored. I always use them. That's awesome. These are funny. Toilet plunger paint brushes a face shield, uh, more hy hyacinth uh, notebooks. Those are great for taking notes. Disposable colored cups, interesting. I wonder what I could use those for. These cups are awesome for water or putting uh, mineral spirits when you can. I can always use that. Handcrafted fine paper, some small, uh, small brushes with like the gummy type end. All right, what is this? Let's see. Oh, there's ink, there's silver. We have a mild liner, paint markers. I wonder if you can use these on shoes. That's really cool. Brushes. I love the Princeton Velvet Touch brushes. Yes, this is a win. The bag was worth it just for that. And we have another metallic marker, very cheap brush. We have a set of brushes. I'll use these to finish my wave painting. A Posca marker. I definitely use these on skateboards. And then we have some yellow, medium, golden. Oh, it's like a liquid acrylic, I think. I've always wanted to experiment with these liquid acrylics and using resin and doing some resin artwork. I think that's really cool. I've seen people do that online and that's awesome. And that's it. That is the last item out of the bag. That's, that's all we've got. So, um, do I feel like it's worth $20? Yes, it is worth $20. Um, do I feel like these supplies were for me, like specifically what I enjoy these supplies? I think I want to do a video where I use items out of this bag to create something on the handcraft fine paper and just experiment with using multiple uh, pieces from this. So I might do a part two video and show you what I create with the supplies that came out of this bag. Very cool. Um, another fun idea would be to do some face shield art. That's, that's pretty cool too. To do some marker for that but I don't know what I'm gonna create yet so I might do another video in a week and show you what I make with all of this as far as the brush this was definitely worth it you can see like I have my regular brushes here and these are all velvet touch that's basically all I use for all of my painting so that was really fun thanks for hanging out and doing the unboxing with me let's do let's do more art 